There's a look, as we just mentioned, uh, the book that you can order uh, for free if you head to the website, askbrenda.ca. It's the Injured Victim's Guide to Fair Compensation. It's free. Lots of uh, questions answered in that as well. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it's a great resource. You can also phone if you want to order it uh, over the phone. To be able to do it that way. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, we are just going to, uh, I know that there was a call that came in over the commercial break. I do believe a gentleman is calling in from Kempville. Uh, Rob, is that you on the line? Hello. Good morning. Hello. What's your question for Brenda? Uh, my girlfriend uh, went to the local subway up here to grab a couple of sandwiches for us uh, one noon hour, and when she was walking out and crossing the parking lot, a car came along and hit her, knocked her down. She had to go to the hospital uh, in an ambulance. Um, the police didn't charge the driver because it was on private property. It, um, we, she had significant injury in her hip because uh, she had to go for physiotherapy. Uh, we couldn't uh, go after the other guy's insurance company. Uh, we had to go through our own car insurance company, even though she was she walked over to the mall and back. Um, but they gave her, I guess, an amount of three thousand dollars that she could use for physiotherapy. That ran out. Um, a couple of months had went by. She was still seeing her doctor for her hip, and she's since been uh, diagnosed uh, from a orthopedic surgeon that she has to have uh, surgery on her hip and uh, we're wondering you know can we go after the driver of the car to hit her because our insurance company we've contacted them and they said what they could do Thanks for yeah. the question. This is very yeah, much what you deal with. Yeah, that's a great question, and that is the, exactly the kind of case that we help people with every day. So I encourage your girlfriend to give our office a call. Um, a lot of different things in that question, starting with the, the comment that we had to go to our own insurance company to get money for physiotherapy instead of the other driver's insurance. A lot of people find that weird, but that is how Ontario's car accident insurance works. You go to your own uh, insurance for your no-fault benefits. They're also called accident benefits or statutory accident benefits. It sounds like the girlfriend was put in the minor injury guideline, which is something that was initiated in September 2010. Uh, there, uh, for certain types of injuries, the accident benefits only gives $3,500 for therapy. It's uh, inadequate. You should tell your MPP that that's not acceptable. But in the meantime, that's the system that we're stuck with. Um, it is possible if your girlfriend's injury is serious enough that she needs surgery that maybe she no longer is in the minor injury guideline. Maybe the orthopedic surgeon has uh, given a diagnosis that would take her out of the minor injury guideline. So you're going to want to talk to your no-fault insurer, your own car insurance to see if that's the case. That's certainly something that we would normally help our clients with. Um, in terms of can you go after the vehicle who caused the accident, absolutely you can. Um, just because we have a no-fault system doesn't mean that you can't go after, especially if it's the type of injury where you're going to need surgery. Uh, if you have a, a serious injury, it is always worth considering suing the at-fault driver. The fact that it was on private property doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to, to have a lawsuit. The fact that the person wasn't charged doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to have a lawsuit. So absolutely that's something that you should consider. You need to keep in mind that there's a two-year limitation period. Uh, you need to keep in mind also, uh, depending on how long ago this happened, that there is a notice requirement. You should give notice to the at-fault driver as soon as possible uh, to protect the interest that accumulates on your pain and suffering damages. So really, this is exactly the kind of case where a personal injury lawyer uh, can help. There are some complications um, because of the, the surgery and because you're put in the mind or injury guideline so uh, a personal injury lawyer can definitely help you sort through that one of the things that I, I noticed from that and then I had a question on it why does it matter in terms of the private property or not that I mean it was a, still a driver yeah, How does that come into there play? are police officers who won't charge on private property and to tell you the truth I don't know why because often they do charge on private property maybe police officers have a belief that they can't but really whether or not there's a ticket or a charge does not impact whether or not you can bring a lawsuit it uh, yeah you, it's not something to worry about okay interesting uh, question and uh, there's the answer for you uh, we do have to take a break